Kate Schwenke and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun little unwrapping. I would say unboxing, but it's not in a box, so an unwrapping for a Madewell bag that I ordered. This is my very first Madewell bag. I'm super excited because I've been like oogling them for the longest time. So I have the Sydney crossbody bag here and it's the smaller one about I want to say about this size. Um, they also make a larger one that is more like a shoulder bag. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I also have one more little accessory in this bag that matches it. I'm so excited about it. So here we go. Go ahead and open it. Ooh, the color. Like, this is like the quickest unboxing ever because I didn't get much. <laughs> Ooh, the color is so pretty. I know there's, I wonder if they put it in here. Yeah, they did. Okay, everything is all in the same bag. So as you guys can see, the size is, I mean, it's just right for me. So I love this color. I thought it was going to be a little too reddish for me, but it is so gorgeous. Here is the little thing that I ordered. It's bigger than I expected. I'm going to go over that in a little bit. It's a keychain. It's called the Sydney keychain. As I mentioned, this is the Sydney crossbody bag. I'm going to go ahead and pull off some of the little bits of paper and things that help prevent this from getting scratches. These types of bags do get scratched easily because they have more of a natural type of finish to them. It is so pretty though. It's absolutely perfect. Perfect, perfect. So pretty. This size is just perfect for me. I cannot wait to take this shopping. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. I'm pretty sure it has a magnetic closure on the top. Ooh, and it's a nice one too, so. There is your magnet strips right there. And I forgot to mention, this is gonna be an unboxing, unwrapping, on the body and packing video because I wanna see how this packs up immediately after I take out all the packaging and stuff on it. So, lots and lots of packaging. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys how it looks all empty. Okay, so the inside is, I thought it was gonna be like a suede, but it's like a tough, feeling like finished suede. So that's cool. I don't know if you guys can see that. I love the size of it. It has an interior pocket, which I kind of thought was gonna have like a magnet closure, but it doesn't, um, which is better though, because then it's easier to access the things. But this magnet on top is like, it's strong. You guys see that? <laughs> so you have these great little straps here so you can use this in your hand you can use this in the crook of your arm and I'll show you guys that in the on the body part of the video and then you have this strap which you can wear crossbody or over your shoulders so I cannot wait to take this out it is the perfect size and at first I was like is it gonna be too small I don't know because the dimensions seem small when you're looking at them on the website but in person, it's just right. I'm glad I got this size. So next, let's go over the accessory that I got to match. And I did want to mention, this is the burnished caramel color. It is really, really pretty. I love it. So, and I got the matching keychain, the Sydney Knot keychain, which as I mentioned, is a lot bigger than I expected. On the website, it looked way smaller. Um, but I really like this size. It's gonna make it easy to grab this out of my purse. You have a clip right here, so you can put it over your belt loop or on anything else you need to, and then you can attach your keys to this piece here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that before I film my video so that you guys can see how the keys look on it. But this is in the same burnished caramel color. Perfect for fall. I love it. <laughs> so let's try this bag on and I'll show you guys how I pack it up. Hey guys, so I just finished packing up my new Sydney crossbody bag in the burnished caramel color. I love it already. 
I love how it packs. It has plenty of room for all of my things. So my worries about getting the bag too small were totally off. <laughs> So what I want to go over with you guys in this part of the video is outside dimensions, materials, details, pockets, and all that stuff. So what I'm going to go ahead and start with are the length of these grab handles here. The drop length on this is four and three quarters inches. So it's a perfect grab and go style of bag. This crossbody strap is just awesome. If you guys see here, you have so many different notches that you can put these two brads into. As you can see, it goes all the way down here. So you have plenty of space. If you're a taller girl, you can max this out and it'll fit you just fine. If you're short like me, you can even hike it up even more. As you guys saw in that on the body portion of the video, I had it notched just where they had it notched and it fit me just fine. So hopefully that helps you guys. The strap itself is 21 and a half inches long. The size of the bag is nine inches wide, eight inches tall, and it's four and three quarters inches deep. I just love the shape of this bag. It kind of reminds me of a saddle bag without having the flaps and things like that in the front pockets. So I love how minimalistic this bag is. It has a very vintage vibe to it, but it's still modern and it has a timeless feel to it. So I feel like I could use this bag like 50 years from now and still be totally happy with how it looks. I think it's gonna age so well. So let's go over some of the details of this bag. As you guys can see, it has a U type of shape to it, which I adore. You have some front stitching detail here and I will show you guys that up close. So you can see there's a stitch that goes from about here to all the way over here. It does not go all the way up, which I find interesting. It's very plain on the front of the bag and the back of the bag is identical. On the sides of the bag, you have this nice wide leather strap that goes all the way up and it is technically your strap. It's all one solid piece. Except for right there, you can see that it, this is where they seamed it. And on the very bottom of the bag, you can see that they seamed it in the middle here. Now, the larger style of this bag that is on their website, I think it's called the Sydney Shoulder Bag. That one has a continuous strip of leather down here. It's not joined in the middle like this. But I don't mind that at all. I think it's got a lot more character because of it. So that is what the outside looks like. On the sides of the bag, you have this round spot here. And they have it reinforced with this leather piece here. As you can see, it's been double stitched. And this allows you to detach and reattach your strap. I do wanna tell you guys, this strap is not very easy to remove without prying this piece down. So I'm just leaving it on until I really feel like I wanna wear this bag with just the straps, which I may never do. Like I, I'm more of a cross body bag type of girl. So <laughs> um, I did wanna mention that though. It's not super easy to remove this. It's possible. I just don't wanna you know, mess up my brand new bag. So one of the details I love about the Madewell products are the big knots that they do. I think that is so signature to their style and I just love it. And as I showed you guys with my new key ring, it's the same style. So I really wanted it to match this bag. And that is on both sides of the bag. Isn't that cute? And then you have the bronze, antique bronze hardware. So, and these are on swivel clips. So if you put your strap on upside down or wrong, you could easily just flip it over. So that is the outside of the bag. I love it. It's so cute and just, like I said, timeless. I love that. So let's go ahead and jump on to the inside to show you guys how I have this bag packed up. I was very impressed with how much room I actually had in here. I think a lot of that is because the bag is a lot wider on the bottom than I expected. And I'm loving that, that you can fit so much more in here. Okay, so let's jump inside. So here is what the top of the bag looks like. So you don't have direct access to your things, but I really, really, really love the magnetic strip that they put up top here because it keeps all your things from falling out or moving around. And it's a soft closed type of magnet, but it's strong. I love that. <laughs> so this is what I have in my bag. I've packed it with some jujube pieces and then I have my Madewell wallet over here. So let's go ahead and start going through some of what I've packed in here. 
I think I'm gonna start with this piece here. This is a medium set piece by Jujube. I have it here in the rosy posy print. And I wanted to mention, if you guys see anything in this video that you've gotta have, if you love, love, love this bag like I do, you can shop with me. I will leave my links down below for you guys. I'd love if you would shop this bag with me and Jujube as well. So let's go ahead. This is the medium set piece. And in here, I just have a mishmash of things just thrown in here because they're all very mismatched. So I have an oil absorbing roller stick, a half empty pack of tissues, a hand cream. I have a folded hairbrush with a mirror, my inhaler. I also have a pill case here. This has Advil and allergy medicine and things like that in there. And then I also have this measuring tape. I uh, do a lot of shopping and a lot of furniture shopping. And I always like to have this on me just to make sure everything's gonna fit in my house properly. So that's what I had in my medium set piece. Next, you can already see that it's pretty empty in there now. But over here in this small set piece, I have some lippies. So I have an Anastasia one. I love this one, it's called Praline. It's what I'm wearing in this video. So if you guys wanna shop that too, I will link that. I've also got my Chanel. I'm obsessed with this one. An EOS chapstick. And I also have a hand sanitizer down in there as well. Next, I have my wallet down in there. We're just going through the main compartment right now. I am obsessed with this wallet. If you guys wanna see a separate review on this one, let me know. I'm not gonna take you on a tour on the inside of it, but this is the Zip Wallet by Madewell in the Forgotten Landscape color. I think it pairs really, really well with this bag. However, this color is out of stock, but they do make this wallet in black and burnished caramel. So if you wanted a wallet to match this bag, you can definitely do that. They're still available, but I love it. Highly recommend this wallet. Now, I'm not sure, but I think that's the last thing I have in the main compartment. But I did want to show you guys this little trick because this bag does not come with a key leash on it, which I am very used to in the other bags that I review. So I missed that a little bit, but this is my new key ring by Madewell in the burnished caramel color. I love it. I think it is so classy and cute. But what I did here was I hooked this onto this, if you can see that, and that way I've created my own key leash. So these can hang inside the bag without dropping down to the very bottom of the bag. You guys can see that um, and so I can just always find them where I need them so that's what I had there I love this kitty fob though so cute totally easy to remove thanks to the clip now on this side you have an open slip pocket a leather one and in there I just have my phone it is the perfect sleeve to put my phone in and I have an iPhone 14 Pro, if that helps you. Um, I think it had a little bit of extra space. I think even the Pro Max, oh yeah, the Pro Max would definitely fit in there too, because look, I have some space in there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it fun and helpful. I love this bag, it is so cute. Zoom out just a hair for you guys so you can see a little bit better. I highly recommend it. I cannot wait to take it out. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it fun and helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel while you're here if you're new. If you guys saw anything you love in this video, I will link everything I can down in the description below for you. And I would love if you guys would shop with me. Thanks for watching.